Hello, I'm Peter from the Australian Worm Firm here at our garden store in Smithfield and today we're going to be discussing one of the elements of the different worm liquids. Today's worm liquid is worm juice. So down here I have a swag. This is the swag worm farm. It's a big uh, family sized farm, one that they use in schools and community gardens. And as you can see at the top, you feed the worms through the below the blanket and as the liquid drains through, it drops through into a bucket at the bottom. And this, so this is a leachate. So whatever liquids drain through the castings has come out through into the bucket and we call that worm juice. Now worm juice is only as good as the castings that are in the bed. In this particular instance, the worm juice is quite good and we do use it on our garden out the front. And the reason why I say that is because there aren't too many food scraps in this bed. So if you look through here, you can see some lawn clippings, mostly pre-composted material. Um, further down, you'll see some worm castings. There's a little bit of food waste there, but primarily worm castings, some quite nice stuff. So most of this worm juice will be okay. But as you can see, there's a little bit of food scraps and some grass clippings. Now, the reason why we talk about the food waste in the worm farm when you're collecting leachate is because if your worm farm is anaerobic and smelly, um, that means that there can tend to be quite a lot of pathogens in your worm farm, which are microbes that are not healthy for your soil. We want healthy soil microbes in your garden. So if your worm juice is bad smelling, it's a good indication that there's anaerobic microbes in your worm juice and it's not good for use on the garden. In this particular instance, the, the juice smells okay. Uh, we know that the worm farm is largely composed of mature castings, so it's fine to use. The way you would use this worm juice is you dilute it down approximately one to 10 and use it on your plants, normally to your lawn for it to be the safest, or also on your other plants in the garden as well. If you are using your worm juice, smell it first. If it smells bad, tip it out and get rid of it because it's not good for your garden. Uh, worm juice is the easiest worm liquid to make. It's as simple as putting a bucket below your worm farm or in the case of a stacky worm farm like this, putting a container below your tap here as well. Um, however, it's also the riskiest. Um, as I said before, it, the juice is only as good as what you have in your upper trays. Um, and there are two worm liquids which are a bit safer, which you can be confident will be a much better product every single time. One of them is the worm casting extract, like the repair that I have here. And one of them is worm tea. So next week we'll be talking about worm casting extracts like this and how to make them. And the following week we'll be talking about worm tea. And we'll be doing a comparison between the different worm liquids as time goes on. Now you'll notice that there's quite a range of different liquids here. All of these liquids are based on the worm casting extract. So if you are in the area, feel free to drop in and we can explain to you how you would use all these fertilizers. And over here, we've got a very beautiful chalk sign um, letting you know about the Fluria Ag Fest on Monday the 20th of March. This is a fantastic opportunity for school groups, community groups, or other organizations to come down. It's a whole day event. We'll be posting the information below this uh, uh, YouTube video. Um, so come along, it's all about regenerative agriculture, all about fantastic local businesses doing wonderful things, groups like Heirloom Harvest which make the, grow the seeds that we sell here um, and other groups as well. So come along to the Fleury Ag Fest, it's at Yankalilla Showgrounds on the 20th of March, next Monday and be part of a wonderful day celebrating regenerative agriculture. Thank you very much for watching.